So, the, my name is Dr. Dayanand Dama. I'm a junior resident in Victoria Hospital, Bangalore. So, today you must have seen in the news that the COVID vaccine has been launched and it is a grand success. It is 500% effective. Uh, so, something like that shit and all you have seen in the media today. Uh, I just, to, you know, I didn't want people to miss out on the information. Uh, so, right to information is one of the basic things. So, as a doctor, I just want to tell a few things on actual facts about the vaccines. So, first you should know is, uh, you know, what a vaccine is, is that if there is a human and if there is a viron, viron could be a bacteria or a virus. Okay, if the viron, you know, attacks the human, that is if he gets infested with the virus. So, what will happen is virus will give some symptoms to the human. It could be in the form of disease or inflammatory response as in fever and other things. Similarly, body also does something to the virus or the viron. Okay, which we call it as the immunity, where body cells will, you know, uh, you know, migrate and will fight with the virus. Okay, okay. So that is called as immunity. Now, whenever a virus or a viron is infected, our immune cells activate. So that is how it has been happening. Though we have so many viruses and bacteria around us, so we don't get, you know, infected or ill every day. That is because of our immunity. So what you should know is when it comes to the history of vaccination in the year 1798, Edward Jenner was the first person to give a vaccine. Ironically, the vaccine that is given to kill viruses is named after a virus that is variola vaccinia, which was the cowpox virus, which is which virus would cause you know infestation in cow and cause disease in cow was injected to humans. And humans body thought that was it was an infection and responded with the immunity whereas it was a fake infection okay where see similarly like how we see you know uh, we have bird flu bird flu happens for birds it is rarely occurs in humans rarely transmitted humans similarly coronavirus okay it is well known in humans not in other animals but there may be some viruses which mimic each other structurally like for example if you see a virus if, if roughly i have shown so if this is the outer covering okay if this center part is the nucleus and these are the proteins outer thing as the protein coating so if the protein coating is similar between two virus though they affect two separate species that is humans and birds or some other animals if the proteins are separate immune response could be similar so that is what he thought in 1798 long ago and he gave vaccine so you must have heard a lot of stories from your ancestors telling that if they got smallpox, you know, entire village, town used to get sweeped off like anything and people would die, okay, without a single person sparing in the entire village. So that is how it used to be in back then. So now, so when it comes to COVID, so as, uh, you know, as the doctors or the researchers, scientists developed vaccine for COVID and the answer is definitely yes. So you may be astonished to know the fact that there are 48 companies who are you know trying to get vaccine and there are 11 companies who have already got the vaccine which is approved. So the vaccine that India has got is uh, Bharat Biotech uh, you know vaccine that is the Covaxin and the Covishield. Covishield is again an Italian company, Italian UK collab company. So that is Covishield which was which I just got uh, today. Uh, so that is uh, Covishield. So now. Uh, what you need to understand is they're all in the vaccine company. They're all in the rat race to become the first, uh, you know, people to acquire the market. Of course, that is why they have uh, they have hurried the process. So they are still in the phase three trial. Some of them. So uh, so now we may be a part of the you know phase three trial where it is given on humans, you know, doctors, just like how they did in uh, Brazil. What you need to understand is that. You know, I was reading in one of the WhatsApp messages saying that, uh, you know, uh, vaccine is not 100% effective. Vaccine, vaccine does not do anything. You need to wash your hands, safety, everything you should do. So vaccine is not at all effective. It is like a mafia from the drug company, something like that. So all these sorts of messages you will get. So you need to ignore all that. Okay. What you need to understand is that, so whatever India is giving two vaccines, is it the best vaccine in the world? And the answer is no. It is not the best vaccine. Some other companies like the Pfizer, the Moderna or the Russia Sputnik, they have said that they are having a efficacy rate of around 90 to 95%. So quite efficacious. When compared to 60 to 75, 70% of the vaccines that are approved in India. 
But the next question that comes is, uh, you know, is it the worst vaccine? No, US regulation says any, any vaccine that is, uh, you know, that has efficacy above 50% is a decent enough vaccine. So we are getting a decent enough vaccine, but it is not, it may not be the best. So has the, you know, a trial been completed? And the answer is no. They're still doing it. So they have got the report of, you know, around 20,000 who have been given vaccine. So they are still getting the reports, but from whatever reports available, they have done an interim analysis. That is analysis in the middle of the you know study. So from that study, we have a lot of data that is available. So what you need to you know understand is, uh, is it effective? And the answer is yes. It is sixty percent effective. So thirty to forty percent may not contract the virus I mean infection but the catch is the duration of immunity is not very clear data is not available how many doses we need to take the data is not available though they are giving two doses now and whether the vaccine you know prevents the severity of infection even if contracted infection that data is also not available all these three data are not available but it is still, I repeat it, it is 60 to 70 percent efficacious. So around 30 to 40 percent may contract COVID. So suppose 100 were supposed to get, 30 to 40 may get. But when you look at the magnitude, if at all we are going to establish a vaccination drive across the community, what we are going to have is even 50 percent reduction is a huge game. I'll give you an example. If there are 5 people who are infected, they can transmit to 50 into 10. If one was imagining, one person will transmit to 10. Okay, from 50, it will become 500. 500 to it will become 5000. So in 3 cycle, it becomes 5000. From 5 to 5000. Now suppose there is 50% reduction at each level. Suppose if 2 are infected, 50 per, I mean 5 I have done half so if two are infected so they will transmit into into 10 that is 20 so since it, there is 50 percent reduction so they will transmit to 10 from 10 they should be giving to 100 but it won't be 100 because there is 50 percent reduction so it will be 50 okay from 50 again there should be 50 into 10 that is 500 250 so for, so we are seeing 250 patient here on the other hand, we are seeing 5,000 people. Okay, the difference is quite huge. Okay, so again, it keeps multiplying. So you, you know, 5,000 becomes into 10, 50,000. Here it is becoming only 250. 250 into 10 will be 2,500. So 2,500 into, it will be 50% of that. So the magnitude, when you look at the public health perspective, it is huge. If only 100 people take, it may not be very effective. But in the community, if more people are taking, it is going to be very huge. Now, next question is, uh, the thing is, uh, whether there are any adverse effects with the vaccine, whether there will be any adverse effects with the vaccine, and the answer will be, there may be. Okay, Even the simple tablet that you take, uh, like for example, paracetamol for cold or fever, you know, 1 in 3,200 people who takes crossin tablet can have adverse effect. Even one tablet that you take for common cold, can have adverse effect if taken for one in 2000 people which you are less aware okay likewise even vaccines may have adverse effects but the magnitude will be very minimal from whatever data we know of you know 10000 people so there are no deaths uh, related to vaccine there are only rumors with respect to some neurological complication but the official data does not say so so all the adverse effects are very minimal so adverse effects will be there but they will be minimal Efficacy, it is not 100%, but it is decent enough. These two questions I have answered. Next question is, how do I feel now? Okay, how is it given now? Now it is given where you have to you know, enter the... Now it is given for health workers. For health workers, they have to they take the pre-data already, which we have submitted. So you have to go there early. You have to sit there for half an hour. Then you will have to show your ID card with, with the number, either PAN or Aadhaar card. Then they will take you to the injection room where they will give a, you know 0.5 ml of the injection at the deltoid muscle intramuscular within the muscle they will pierce the needle and give which is a muscle here deltoid is a muscle on the you know arm here on the side of the arm 
so they will give that then they will observe you for half an hour now they are observing uh, for half an hour to look for any side effect that is how it is given so next question that comes is main question that comes is whether you should take and uh, the answer i leave it to you guys so you can choose just make sure that you share uh, you know this video with all of your friends so that you know information gets uh, transferred actually you know from a doctor's point of view who's i mean scientifically speaking knowledge should be shared across so this i just request you to share with your friends if you have any doubts you can you know leave a comment the video is mainly for all the non medicals who are not aware and are watching uh, you know news channels or something for information do share like and comment thank you